Hi everybody, welcome to The Messy Cook by Dale. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. We are continuing in our series of award-winning movie recipes and today's recipe is Minnie's Chocolate Pie. Can we guess what movie it's from? No idea. No idea? Okay, uh, put underneath if you think you know. It star I'm going to tell you first that it was a 2011 a release date directed by Tate Taylor starring Emma Stone, Viola Davis, Bryce Dallas Howard, Octavia Spencer, Jessica Chastain, and Allison Janney. And it won an Oscar for um, Best Actress to Octavia Spencer. It is called The Help. We're making Minnie's no, Chocolate... No, 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 We're not doing that. Oh, no, 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 no. This is minus the Terrible Awful. All right. And if you guys want to know what the Terrible Awful is, uh, check underneath in the comments and you'll find a link to uh, the scene and it's very special. Love The Help, it was such a great movie. It comes from the novel too, The Help. So, we are going to start by uh, preheating your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit or 170, 80 degrees uh, Celsius. Let me make sure that's right. I'm putting all the metric um, ingredients and, um, and all of the conversions. Yeah, I'm putting it all in here for you guys that need it. Okay, so uh, 350, 180, yes. So it starts with a store-bought, or you can make your own pie crust. I bought a store-bought, easy peasy, I love it. So what you wanna do is to blind bake your pie crust. And what that means is that you put it in the oven with nothing in it, and you just get it so it's not moist anymore. You put it in at 350, you cook it, you bake it for about 10 minutes, you uh, first of all what I'm going to tell you is that you have to take a fork and you have to very gently prick all around the pie what you don't want to do is the pie crust to start to expand you don't want to do that so you're going to put that and then you're going to put a piece of aluminum foil or you can put um, parchment paper and you're going to fill it up with pie weights now let me tell you about pie weights you can I went to the store to buy pie weights several several months or maybe even a year ago years ago and I went to buy and they they run believe it or not anywhere from uh, 15 16 17 dollars to 65 dollars for ceramic pie weights well I thought I'm not going to spend money on that so I did some research and I found out that you can use beans dry beans and these are dried peas I've used them forever several several months at least and it's a fraction of the cost so you just pour these inside it weighs it down so that it doesn't puff up all right so that's what you do you get a blind uh, pie crust you blind bake your pie crust so we have it here it's all been completely cooled down next you're going to make the chocolate uh, pie filling so you start with two eggs that you've beaten to that you're going to add everything else so we have uh, one and a half cups of sugar Ugh, that goes in there this is a great pie it's it's a southern classic obviously oh this is not gonna work okay and there's one and a half and a half one and a half cups of sugar that's everyday sugar all right so you're going to mix that in get that going okay to that you're going to add four three tablespoons of cocoa unsweetened cocoa i am going to sift that just because it's clumpy so uh one and a half what did i say three tablespoons of cocoa there's one. I'm making a mess. Two. And one more. There we go. There's the cocoa. is in there. Give that a bit of a sift. Because there are clumps in here. Such a delici delicious pie. And so, um, so southern. So southern. Okay. And we're going to four tablespoons of melted butter. That goes in here. Let me get that going. Been sitting out for a while. There's the melted butter. That noise is our dog <laughs> drinking. drinking water. He's part of the production, what can I tell you? 
Okay, four tablespoons of uh, unsalted butter. Now, if all you have is salted butter, don't worry about it. Use it because they ask you to put a pinch of salt. Just leave out that pinch of salt. Um, in Montreal, in Canada maybe, but at least here in Montreal, we can get three types of butters. We can get a full salted butter, a uh, unsalted butter, and a half salted butter, which I love. So I use that a lot in my baking and I, then I have to forgo the... Uh, the salt. I like to control the amount of sodium we get, so it works for me. All right, so I put in the butter. Next is um, evaporated milk, carnation milk. I mean, when was the last time we used that? Always wipe off the top of your cans before you open them. God no, oh, yeah, I needed to do that. All right, so we have, we'll put this in our coffee later. At least I will. Okay, how much of this do I need? Three quarters of a cup. Three quarters of a cup. Oops. There we have it. Three quarters of a cup of evaporated milk. One teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. This is from Mexico. This is really good um, vanilla. I got it from our friends Matthew and Max. They brought it back for me. Love it. Is this one teaspoon? Yes. It's very, very good vanilla. I just got myself in the face. Okay. And a pinch of salt, which I'm not going to do. Okay. So let's get this going. Give it a good whisk. You know, if, uh, at what point would Minnie have put the nasties in? Oh, God. <laughs> okay. We won't go there. You know, it's not... I can't even begin to imagine. I just hope when we eat this, we're not going to see this in our head. <laughs> anyway, okay, so there we have it. A good whisk and get out all the lumps if there's any and get it going. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to fill the pie crust. Gently. Look at this. I mean, hello. Exactly the right amount. Love it. Listen, what you want to do, I do anyway, is I put my pie shell on a, um, a tin, a baking tin, just in case anything spills over or when I take it over to the oven, it doesn't spill. All right, so this is going to go into the oven, 350 degrees, 180 uh, Celsius. It's going to go into the oven for 45 minutes. Now, at the halfway mark, if you see that your edges are browning too much, you don't want to burn them, what I'm probably going to do, or what you can do, is take some sheets of uh, aluminum foil and just wrap them around so they won't cook anymore, and then you can continue baking it for the other uh, 15, 20, 30 minutes, whatever it is. All right, now you're going to know it's done when the outside of the filling is firm but the inside is a little bit jiggly because you're going to want to um, cool it completely so once it comes out of the oven you put it on a cooling rack you let it cool completely before you slice it and that's what we're going to do i'm going to put it in the oven i'm going to see you in about uh, 45 an hour or whatever and you'll see me in about three seconds all right so we'll see you later hi everybody welcome back here is minnie's chocolate pie Minus the terrible awful. Looks wonderful. It uh, had to be cooled completely. And we put a dollop of whip, uh, whipped cream on top. And let me give you a little tip. One of my subscribers gave me this tip, but it really works well. Uh, you take a cup of whipping cream, and to it you add one tablespoon of icing sugar or powdered sugar, and one tablespoon of... Cornstarch. Cornstarch, right. I'd forgotten before and Dan had to remind me. Cornstarch. And then you whip it up and it keeps it nice and firm. So really good tip. Thank you to those of you who gave me that tip. All right. So let's cut into this. Ah, I don't know what to do. Okay. Ah, I'll do this. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Oh yeah. Whoops. Oh, it may not come out really well and look nice, but it's going to taste good. There we go. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, look at that. Mm -mm. 
Oh, looks lovely. Okay, taste test. I'm gonna put a little, little bit more whipped cream on top. Let's give that a taste. Mmm, heavenly. Oh, Dan, you're gonna love this. Really good. Listen, people, try this. It's so easy, really. And it makes a really nice dessert. Just leave out the terrible waffle. All right, so thank you so much for tuning in and um, hanging out with me. Please try this recipe. Watch the movie. The uh, link to the scene where Minnie gives this to her, um, the person that she works for. She gives her this pie, and you'll see it how it turns out. It's really funny. Um, stay safe. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others. Um, what else? If you're not subscribed, please do. It really helps um, to move our channel and, and improve it. And um, most of all, forget the mess. And for you, Ben, see you next time, everyone.